we're back at uh, at uh, Bespoke Taylor's Dubai with uh, with the maestro himself and first video for the year. So what we're going to do is that we uh, we've gotten a lot of interest for the uh, uh, plastic trousers that uh, we have designed and we produced uh, both way up to there. the way up to here, both in the flat front <laughs> and then the pleated model. And a lot of you have actually requested to have a copy of those made. So what we're going to do, we're going to do what we call sort of a, a, a you know, sort of it's a premium MTM, but very close to bespoke. Uh, but for the benefit of those who uh, are remote, like some of you in the US or Canada, who really, really want those trousers. So we're going to try to do something really unique that he's never done before, I've never done before. So this is a total experiment. And we're going to start with measurements. So the measurements have to be proper. And uh, so he's going to explain and sort of he's going to show what measurements that you would require and, and send them in. I'm going to prepare a form, send it out to you. You're going to fill out this form based on the me measurements that he has uh, specified. And then we'll start from there. We'll create a pattern for you. And then uh, we'll create a dummy cloth uh, in muslin, send it to you. You test it. It works out. Everything checks out before we go into the production cloth. So this is the first step, is going through the measurements. We're going to look at the specific measurements that you will require, and then I'm going to transpose that into a form, which I'll send to you. Bear in mind that we are trying to develop something which is not existing. So to do that, we have to think very uh, new, right? Forget what you've been wearing. So getting the right measurements, it is crucial that you have somebody measure you you will not be able to measure yourself. And to do that, I'm going to have to show you some few steps and some points to keep in mind as reference points that will help you uh, being measured properly. Okay. First and foremost, you cannot be measured in the jeans. Right? No jeans. So wear your tightest uh, track pants if you have, no shorts. Right? Where the crotch is properly fitted, they should, it should not be uh, loose and off your body and not a thick material. Right? And if possible, wear your t-shirt which is the tightest or thinnest and relaxed. If it is thick and loose, you will not get the right picture. Okay. So, when you are wearing a tight t-shirt and you have a, a track pants, first thing is to identify where your navel is. Right? right there. So get a piece of rope and tie it snugly but not too tight. Okay just so that we mark the position where the trouser is going to be. So if you can, if you can, that's it. So you just turn around. Right. And if you can see, this should be sitting on the, on your, on this curve here, the deepest point. Mm -hmm. The small of the back. This is the base of your waist, uh, of your backbone. This is what's called the waist. It's actually the natural waist. Mm -hmm. And if, in ready mates, this is the this is the point where the waist size is registered. So if you're buying a jeans which is quite low, it always never even if the waist size is 32, you'll see that the trouser is actually 34, 36 because 32 is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the natural waist. So you got the waist. Okay. Now the first measurement I want you to take is, of course, do not wear shoes. Okay. Just no shoes. Eh? No shoes. So I want. You, you, to just relax, mm. normal stance. Yes, folded arms, not up. Yeah, correct. Because when you do this, the whole body goes up, right? So now try and make sure that this line is straight. Visually, so front and back is almost straight. Okay. Now from this point, right? You measure it all the way to the ground, straight to the ground. Without shoes. Without shoes. Because that's your exact length. You don't need. Then, based on the shoes, we will, we will add add some extra. Add mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the outside leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Second measure I want you to take is from the inside of the leg. Inseam. Inseam, all the way down to the floor. Okay. So that will give us the inseam. The rise difference. Okay, oh, so mm -hmm. this is the rise. So when we deduct the inside leg from the outer leg, we get the rise. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so now we're going to measure the waist. We bring the tape on top of this line and 
it should just be right. One finger in there, one finger, and it should be able to move, but mm-hmm. with a little bit of effort. Mm-hmm. Okay, not too tight that it doesn't move. Just enough so that it moves a bit. So that is the waist size we get. And then bring it over the widest part of the hip. The widest part. So we call it the seat, we call it the hip. And again, not too tight, relaxed, so that it moves with a little bit of effort. And that's the seat measure. Right? Now one more measure I need is the round. So you take the uh, hold your arms mm-hmm. off of your chest. Low. Yeah. So you measure from here and all the way to the back. So that's front and back right. Front and back right total. Total. Alright. So these are all the measurements we need. Plus we you can give us your shoe size and we'll do the rest. So what of the uh, what of the thigh and knees and you don't do because that. you're going to do a straight fit anyway. Mm-hmm. But to be on the safe side, yes, you're right. What we will do is let's take a thigh measure right where the crotch is. Okay. Right? Again, with a little bit of effort, it should move, but not too tight that it does not move, or mm-hmm. not too loose that it falls off. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'll do that but again. You should be able to drape. Yeah, here. Yeah. So we'll get the thigh measure, so we ensure that the fabric we keep is a lot more than what the thigh is. Mm-hmm. Okay? We do want, need one more measure. Please, mm-hmm. you measure from the beginning to the, knee. the, the center of the knee. Okay? Mm-hmm. And if you have a preference for the leg opening, leg opening or, or bottom as you call it, you're, you're free to give us that measure. Or if you would like us to develop the cut, then send us the shoe size. What's your shoe size? And then you can calculate. We'll calculate. Right. 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 Between. And we need your height. What is your height in centimeters without the shoes? Uh, we also need to know... Um, um, oh, sorry. We need pictures. Three pictures. So, pictures, short. Uh, I'll help you a little bit more. Short from the height. Bring the camera down, bring the yeah. camera down, lower it to this point, and then you take a picture with the natural stance, straight up, 90 degrees from the side, you raise your arm, so we can see whether your hip is forward or back, right? But normal stance, not a military stance. We need it when you, we need to see how you stand, relax. And the third picture would be like this, okay? And a short video of you stay, of like just turning around in all stances, front, uh, front, side, and back. So we get an idea if there is a little bit of excess fat, or the hips are forward, full, or uh, weak. We'll be able to judge that. So we're going to summarize with uh, just sort of really tightening off the number of measurements that he's going to show you. Just keep it crisp. Uh, so go ahead. Okay. First measurement is the outer leg. One. So from the rope all the way down to the floor, no shoes. Second, inseam from the crotch all the way down to the floor. Two. Again, a straight line. If it's diagonal, it will not work. Uh, third is the waist. That's three. Fourth is the seat, the hips. Seat. That's four. Five is the rounding of your thigh. That's five. five. Six is from here, going straight to the knee. That's six. Okay, and the last measurement is the full round seat, which is the front rise and the back rise. So you start from here, go under the torch, all the way back to the uh, rope over here. So that's the measurement, that's all the measurements we need. And we need pictures, front stance, normal one, side. Please don't be very stiff, be relaxed the way you stand, but with your hands across your chest. And then the back. You get an idea of the hip shape and the uh, hips. Mm-hmm. So in summary, just seven measurements and three pictures. That's it. Just, and a video. You know. And a video. And if you, if, if, if they can give us more video, can, a video will be helpful, but maybe not. It's a phone. Phone. Everyone's got a video. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you, and uh, look forward to it. Happy New Year, guys.